Daily Message, August 2nd, 2023. When one asks Jesus to be one's Savior, one has such zeal for the Lord. But unfortunately, far too often, that zeal wanes. Like the seed the farmer sowed that fell upon the rock and among the thorns in Jesus' parable of the sower, as written in Luke 8, verses 13 through 14. Those on the rock are the ones who receive the word with joy when they hear it, but they have no root. They believe for a while, but in the time of testing, they fall away. The seed that fell among the thorns stands for those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by life's worries, riches, and pleasures, and they do not mature. And also like King Saul. When the elders of Israel demanded a king, and God chose Saul as their king, Saul started out well. But over the course of making ungodly decisions and refusing to submit to the will of God, Saul became hard-hearted and spiritually insensitive as he walked away from God. Thus, God selected a man after his own heart to become king, as written in 1 Samuel 13, verses 14 through 15. You have done a foolish thing, Samuel said. You have not kept the command the Lord your God gave you. If you had, he would have established your kingdom over Israel for all time. But now your kingdom will not endure. The Lord has sought out a man after his own heart and appointed him ruler of his people because you have not kept the Lord's command. That man was David. David's decisions in life were centered on God. His zeal for God never waned. He trusted God and purposed in his heart to honor God. Was he without sin? Of course not. But when he sinned, he humbled himself before God and sought forgiveness. How about you? Has your zeal for the Lord waned or has it grown? As did the seed that fell on good soil. But the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart who hear the word, retain it, and by persevering, produce a crop. May your zeal for the Lord be ever-growing and be productive. With love to all, Pastor Cheryl.